part of my building process that I don't see from very many people. And it just may be because of my unique situation in terms of the way I approach projects. Some builders are purely that, just builders, where I'm more of a developer. So I'm kind of playing the builder, architect, material selector, fit and finish. I'm kind of tasked with all of those things. And so I like that from a standpoint of I know the whole picture. I understand how windows are going to play with exterior insulation or what am I going to do with spray foam? How are certain things going to interface with each other, um, etc. And so when I'm doing a remodel, one tool I use is called Canvas IO. And you'll see here that the tool basically works like this. And you can also watch it on their website. Basically, this is the, this is the space. And one thing to note is that when I did the scan, I did the drywall was already was still on the walls. This was just after demo, just to give you a sense of how the tool works. And you'll kind of see here in a second what I mean by that. So basically, that that's the space that I would be scanning. Then I would go and then pop open the tool here, and you'd pop. You'd open the tool, you'd create a new home, and then you'd create a new scan. And so you'll see here exactly what that looks like. And then you'll hit the, gray, the record button, and that gray overlay is the areas that are already scanned into the, the program. Um, and if you want to, if you feel like you've missed something, you move a little closer or further away, and it usually picks it up. And so one thing to note here, just as a good point of reference, is this area back in this corner here is dark and not yet completely digitized at this point. And to do that, I would probably just need to step forward with the iPad and that would probably capture it. I was just staying in the same location to get the, uh, get the overarching view of, of the space. And then so at that point, you do have some options here. So when, so at this point, you will have scanned at least that initial room. The one of the benefits of this is that Canvas IO does merge your files at the end, which is great. But the minor drawback is you have to take like six or seven or however many scans to get the complete product. And I don't know how many are here exactly, but there's a few. And then so at that point, you do have the ability to view the scan. So that was, let's just look at the original here. This was that scan specifically. So that was the scan that they allowed me to take. And then at that point, there was a point where I had to stop it. It wouldn't let me scan anymore. And then obviously there are more of those. So this was upstairs. This was kind of the upstairs. So that was a pretty big scan, actually. They, they, they didn't time out on me, so to speak. And so when I say time out, though, I don't mean that the app crashed or anything. It's just you're kind of at the end of your scan, like it knows that you've hit a 360 loop, so to speak. Um, so then it kind of shuts you off. You can see the stairs are there, but it got that was a pretty good scan. So at that point, you do have the product, something that you can use. One nice thing is that also they have a service that allows you to purchase the output of ARCHICAD, Chief Architect, Revit, SketchUp, Vectorworks, etc., to then input into your tool so that you can mess around with the program. And as you see, this was about 300 bucks to do this. And that set, that gave me a Revit file to then mess around with. So this is what I get sent back. And this, these are all the different scans. So however many that is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then they have the merge scan. And that merge scan is, see if I have a picture of it here. I'm not sure I do. So, so this is the, the, complete colorized scan of the space. And then this is the merged. So this is all the scans that I've taken that are now merged together and stitched together. At least they stitch them together somewhat. I wouldn't say this is the perfect output. I think they're, they're, they probably did some additional adjustments here when I got the Revit model. But this is the, the output that they give you. And then this is something that they also provide and what this does is it gives you your whole scan with, with walls as well. And what's nice about this is even if you don't have some of the work done and take off and schedules, you could send this to this link to people and you could say, Hey, you know, 
drywall person here you can pull your you know pull your measurements off here to give me a drywall bit and then they can kind of measure around here in the site to start doing some of that or if you're doing demo work etc which is great um it gives you know you don't have to worry about a pdf or they can just go in there if they're really eager to do that so these are some of the initial outputs they give you and then they also give you the cad file that i talked about so i'm going to open that up right now so you'll see here that they give you a DWG and IFC a Revit file and a DAE file. And so I'll pop this Revit file open and this will give you a sense of what, what I then see. So again, this looks very similar to the output we saw on the website. But if you look here in the floor plan and legend view area, they give you the actual floor plan. So what I do at this point is I pull some measurements off here to make sure all of the walls are proper, appropriately sized in distance and mainly just the exterior walls because I'm doing, I'm going to be moving some of the anterior walls. But this serves as a really helpful starting point where I don't have to go in there and take measurements. To do that is probably a two or three hour endeavor to make sure I'm getting the windows, the doors, all of that. And you can see that they do that here for you. And they pull in their own door family and windows family, which you can swap out or keep. But it's a great starting point. And just that amount of time that I don't have to spend measuring that Canvas I.O. software does for me is obviously very time saving. I expect that the fidelity and the resolution to only get better. I feel like there was a couple of these walls were maybe an inch or two off. So I went and measured just to make sure. But nothing that is going to change things too drastically. Obviously that inch or two can help somewhere along the lines. I, I've known that to be true. And so, but this is a really helpful tool if you're a builder and you know, you're doing design builds and you, and you need a tool to help you create a floor plan as an as built. And then you can start working out your new floor plan based off that. So pros I would say of this are really easy to use the various outputs of file formats. So it doesn't matter really what software you're using. And the, I would say reasonable cost, because when you back into a number of like, well, how much is my time worth? How long would that take me? It roughly for me pans out to be the same. So it's better for me to just pay people to do something like this versus me do it. In most instances, that may be different if, you know, if there's some large project or whatever. And the cost is based on square foot for the outputs. So they take a look at the, the overall square footage and then they price it based off that. So that's Canvas IO and how I integrate it into my workflow for doing remodel works in my kind of in my business. So hope that helps people understand a little bit more of how Canvas IO can help you. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm a bit. And you know, any any additional support is always welcome. And if you have any questions, please leave them below. And I, I try to get to all of them usually within a couple of days. So hope that's helped people I help. I hope that's helped some people with some ideas on how to, how to move their business long or take their business to a new level when they're trying to think about how as a builder, what else more can I be doing in my space?